Oh no, I have a topic. Hmm, I think my 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 topics are going to be centered around parenting. I'm not a parent yet, but just getting to encounter and see how people uh, raise their kids. You get to see what you, you know what. I mean, my kids. I'm not going to do this. This, yeah, I get what they're doing. This, no. This, yeah. So, the reason why I'm saying that, Ubuti, some I might consider doing, some I might not consider doing, is, um, hmm, I don't want to expose people because they were in the shop yesterday. There was this amazing um, customers that came into the store um it was two ladies and one girl actually they're all three ladies but what i'm trying to say is so it was two ladies in their late i could say the first one maybe late 40s yeah late 40s or maybe early 50s you know how I really almost they um, have kids after a long while, but yeah, with that lady, I just saw it was it was a generation, uh, three generation. Yeah, it was three generations. So there was a grandmother, there was the mother, there was the daughter. So all three ladies came into the store, and they were. Yeah, let me put my car in gear. One. My dad always says whether it's leveled parking or it's slanting, you need to co- put your car on gear one. So whatever happens, it doesn't move. Anyways, sorry, I'm drifting away. So yeah, there was this three generation of ladies that came into the store. So um, the daughter was on a date, actually. Um, so the guy was coming to meet her. So their meeting place was at our store. Oh, I'm showing my bra. So their meeting place was at our store. So they they come in and they just go straight to the t-shirts for men. So when they go there straight to the t-shirts for men, I hope he doesn't kick me out. Um, the security guard at the back. But yeah, so that three group of ladies, they were... They came into the store, so they went straight to the t-shirts, right? Um, I guess they were also looking for some gifts. So before we even knew Wuti, the girl was uh, coming for a date. So her grandmother and her mom came to come and drop her. But the thing that happened is, so they went straight to the t-shirts looking for some gifts. So at our store, we've got these funny t-shirts. So um they were really laughing at some of them (laughs) there was one that says it's it's from a brand called africa joe so his t-shirts are really really slangy and have a sense of humor and mm, if you have a sense of humor you would get the jokes on the t-shirt that's printed so there was one particular t-shirt that they really really fell in love with it says buy a donkey so there's a donkey on the t-shirt and then it says buy a donkey it actually was um, there was a guy in Cape Town I remember I heard the story they said there was a guy in Cape Town he was um, a waiter so he wanted to say to this group of people was it a group of people he wanted to say thank you but in Afrikaans he said buy a donkey he wanted to say buy a donkey so now when they come in to the store they see that t-shirt they kept laughing like nobody's business and then we were wondering me and my colleague so we were both left behind uh with the new girl that i was saying yesterday so they kept laughing and laughing and then the girl's boy date the girl's date came and then um the mother had to like have an exchange and say greetings and stuff so the grandmother was really polite to the the date 
and then the mother was more serious so now the girl ended up leaving her her grandmother and mom at the store while they were still wondering what they could buy for 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 that girl for that guy that she's on a date with so they kept roaming around in the store they took some time and then the girl came back after i think maybe 10 or 15 minutes because they went out with the guy that she's on a date with she told the guy i'll be back i just need to get something from my mom so she came back to the store and then she was she just went straight to her mom and said you are not you were not nice <laughs> she just out straight said you were not nice to to my date so the mom was like i'm sorry she kept apologizing i'm sorry it wasn't my intention i didn't think i was mean but the girl was like how you were really mean your facial expression and all was like yes i'm greeting you but just no wuti you know what you better take care of my daughter if not me and you we gonna fight so it was like that situation so now the girl was like mom you were not nice um i had to like make an excuse when we were there at the restaurant so i can come and talk to you and tell you straight to good you are really not nice so the grandmother kept laughing at her mom Uguti, yeah they got you so it made me wonder Uguti, as us black a uh, black community when it comes to dating our parents are very very strict um our parents will never allow you i don't know maybe some some black households they don't mind their kids dating and they would actually meet the guy who's dating their daughter um yeah man i was like thinking to myself i was like yo black community this will never it could never it could never you could never like bring your your date and then your your date would actually meet your parents or just meet one parent but i was like thinking to myself yo mm -mm. this is really really <laughs> that's one thing that i praise about white people i'm like you know what i love their honesty i love how they treat their kids they have that um bond with their kids where you know what they could speak about whatever and it wouldn't be shun it wouldn't be a shock it wouldn't be um what's the other word of um it wouldn't be i don't know man i'm looking for a word but you know what i mean it wouldn't be allowed in a black household where especially if you if your daughter's dating some kid and you as a father you have to meet that boy who's dating your daughter ah could never it has happened to me where i bought my boyfriend to come see my dad but that was a total different story looking back i shouldn't have done that <laughs> honestly speaking i shouldn't have done that because looking back I saw some red flags, I saw some things would he I shouldn't do. I shouldn't have brought him to see my dad because look at me now, I'm not dating him. We not dating. So what was the point of letting my dad meet him and then at the end of the day we didn't work out. So eesh. Yeah well so yeah it was sort of a thing like that so i couldn't um do that so yeah so there's uh some people who are here i'm gonna try and hide it but yeah man Uti, it makes you think Uti, i shouldn't have done that but i did these people are disturbing me so yeah we're back so um 
Sorry, I got dist- sidetracked. I don't know if he was writing Uti, I'm in the car and I'm recording with a camera. I don't know. But, yeah. So, yeah, it made me realize, Uti, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have bought him to come and see my dad, especially. My mom was cool with it, but I think I shouldn't have. And my also, <laughs> another thing, my uncle was also there. <laughs> So the whole family was there. Not the whole family initially, but it's just that with my dad was there and my uncle. So yeah, it was just awkward. And my dad was also not making it easy because yeah. Ubabomzul can some sometimes say the most not nice things because he did lecture him a bit at UM Tusa. So yeah so you know what i really appreciate to you, you know what how white people they raise their kids um yeah man we some you know some parents just don't need to be like uptight too much with their kids i mean they need to be open so kids don't do dumb things because a lot of kids they do dumb things because of the household that they grew up in um yeah some some are good some are bad but yeah you know what tina would like we just need sometimes we just stop being too hey hey ish you better listen to me if not there's the door we just need to stop leo do leo notion and just let our kids you know what get to be open with us with bang isn't it at the end of the day is it snacks and then they cannot come out of it. so yeah that's one thing I really appreciated when I was seeing that um that um customer when they came into the store how they really connect with their kids so yeah I guess I'm also going to do that when I have a kid. I really want to be open with my kids, but they will also know a boundary with Some things I'll tolerate, some things I will not, but I really want to have that bond with my kids where my kids can run to me and say, Mom, I've got a boyfriend. And then, and then you know, I want to meet their boyfriend. Not that I want to meet every Tom, Dick and Harry, but if they know Uti, you know what I'm, I'm serious about this one I don't mind them just popping up and um come with their boyfriends or girlfriends you may never know maybe you might have a lot of girls maybe I might have a lot of boys but I wouldn't mind hanging out with their girlfriends but the other thing which I don't like about them white kids is how they all touchy touchy and their parents will be there so for me that one no but the other things that they do I really really like I'm like you know what this parenting is quite nice so you also learn different things you see different things so you get to like be exposed to how people other people um, raise their kids so I have that so I'm like you know what wherever I go I just take it and one and one and then I'll be like implementing it in future when I have kids yeah their dad I just pray that he doesn't he's not he's not gonna be too um, strict must be a, a nice laid back dad but also have <laughs> if you understand what I mean he must be manly man he, his kids mustn't be scared of him but they must know which they can go to their dad but yeah that's just my two cents so I guess I did have a topic but even though it's more about parenting I think there's about two videos talking about parenting so i guess this one is going to be the second one 
but yeah man parenting styles but yeah i might catch you guys later let me get back into eating my muffin and then i'm gonna wait uh it's currently now 53 minutes yeah it says 53 13 so it's seven minutes to two and me now my shift is starting at four <laughs> i still have two hours in this car at least now it's a bit cool so yeah i might catch you guys later for now bye <laughs> hey yeah don't forget to like subscribe and comment i will really appreciate it and i will definitely get back to your comments so yeah i do respond in comments please guys do them things so yeah bye <laughs>